Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Prebel with Team William Model India. I'm wishing you all a uh, you know, very successful FY24. So, this is the first Prebel of the new financial year, and a lot of wishes for all of you that the markets do well and uh, <clears throat> even on your personal business jobs, you might do something excellent. Okay, so let's start with uh, Nifty 50 setup as always. So Friday was a very good day. In fact, we were going through a phase of consolidation for at least I think 12, 12 sessions uh, before that move came on Friday. So that was a very long consolidation between 16,800, if you say, to 17,200. So that was a continuous consolidation going on. But uh, it, it was a high time, <laughs> you know, guys, that eight side breakout on that. Yeah, that was a high time. But yes, ultimately, we broke out on the higher side. And that's that's something very good. So if you see over here, we, we are now above our 21 EMA, DMA, both the lines. So this level is 21 EMA. So there's no much difference between both levels. But yes, finally, we are back above that level. And one more thing to note over here is the closing was very good near the day's high, in fact, near the week high. So this is something what we like that is positive. Plus the gain was about 1.5%. But guys, one thing, uh, we have, we have not considered Friday session as a follow-through day or market ko confirm uptrend mein humne shift nahi kiya hai. The reason being the volume. The volume was below average plus it was below the previous day's session. So the rule is 1.5% gain on a volume higher than previous session. So the previous session, the volume was high. Okay. That was Wednesday. And the Friday's volume was lower than that. So that's why we have not considered it as a follow-through day. So now again, we remain in a rally attempt and we are waiting for a market to stage a follow-through day. That is 1.5% gain on a higher volume. I think for today's session, uh, the first, the 400 to 500 zone is very important to move about. So once we are above this zone, the buy switch can be turned on and the rally might continue. So you're not even in the Nifty, but I think in the Bank Nifty also, just Bank Nifty to apne 50 DMA ke just niche hai. It's just below its 50 DMA. So once we see the 50 DMA reclaim in bank nifty also, we, we might see a very good run in the banking stocks as well. And in nifty also, we are very close to that level. So I think the first level of resistance can be the 400, 500 zone. And the support, the support level, which you will look for is the low of the previous session. So the price action was very good on Friday. So the low, the Friday's low, yeah, that will be considered as the very important support to look for. So these are the two levels you need to consider in the market as far as the Nifty is concerned. Okay, so a lot of news, some positive news coming around. The March GST collection was very high, 1.6 lakh crore, taking the overall collection at a new high for FY23, okay, TVS Motors sales grew 3%, Tata Motors domestic sales grew 3%. Maruti sales remains same on a YOI basis, but the overall FY23 sales was a record high. So RVNL received multiple orders from NHAI and Ministry of Railway. And in fact, I was guys looking at the RVNL chart. It is forming a double bottom and the chart looks very interesting. It is, it is, it is just over here. Friday ka closing just 50 DMA ke upar aya tha. So the chart of RVNL looks very interesting to me. NCC gets five new order worth uh, 1900 crore plus. So here also the setup is very good. I was looking at NCC chart. Thoda extended a buy zone se, but overall setup looks good for NCC. Now if we look at the GR infra again. So I was I remember Thursday ko bhi isko Five order milete, multiple order, and over the weekend also it got couple of big orders. 
847 crore order in Telangana and uh, the, the other project for six land of 1248 crore in Bihar for the Varanasi Ranchi Kolkata highway stretch. So the, these companies are getting a lot of orders. Even PNC Infra, it received all, three projects from NHAI worth uh, 3264 crore. And if you look at the India's energy consumption, it, it's almost flat on, or you can say down 0.74% to 127 billion units in March. So these were some key news. So now if you look at the global market update, it was a very good day for the US market on the Friday. All the three key indices, the closing was superb. Um, more than 1.34 percent and uh, the Nasdaq was up 1.7 percent. So if you look at the Asian market holding the gains, uh, not major uptrend today, but yes, it's positive. All the three key Asian markets which have opened before India are trading good. So no negative news from the global market as well as the Asian market. As GX Nifty also indicates some positive opening. So currently it's trading around 17,450. And the chart of the day for today, we have select. So we are starting it again as the market is, uh, you know, building up the momentum. So today I have selected ABB India. The, the fundamentals have been very, very good. So look at the results. Uh, you, you can see my annotation. The growth, as any 20-30% ka EPS growth, ya 5-10% ka revenue growth. Look at the sales growth. Consistently good growth, even on a high higher basis. And the EPS superb, like uh, for March 22, June 22, more than 100%, then more than 60% growth. And that's, that's on a high base, I think. So, if you look at the return on equity, 21% ROE, the number of fund holding has increased extremely well. And especially what I like is the ratings. All the ratings are good. And now you look at the setup. It has formed a very good cup with handle pattern. And what in interesting about this cup is, if you minutely check, it has found support near 200 DMA. So I think as a structure, while forming a base, while going through a phase of consolidation, whenever it is taking a support near some key levels, then that's that's very positive. So here also, I think the same thing happened uh, that couple of time it took support near 200 DMA. Okay, even its handle formation took support near 200 DMA and then look at the rally. It was a very good rally. Now it is forming a handle in a very tight region and we are looking for a breakout. So it's just 2% to break out. So if we get a good breakout on a higher volume, then that's really important. So even the RS line is good. It's at a new all time high. Uh, we are getting blue dots over here. So now only one thing is required in this stock that is breakout on a high volume. Okay. So here is the level here. Uh, 3434 4 is the level. 2% from there we are trading. So once we break out about this level on a higher volume, that's a perfect area, uh, which we call as the buy zone according to O'Neill methodology. That is 0 to 5%. Baki overall story-wise, the infra growth story, a lot of orders that, that are coming to ABB India, the project that they are involving, excellent. There's no doubt about those things. So this is the chart of the day that we have selected. So that's it for today's session, guys. Thank you for joining it. See you again on Wednesday at 8.45 a.m. So tomorrow is a market holiday. But thank you, everyone.